Today, my friends, we are going to do something crazy, something what you have been wanting to see me testing out for a very long time. We are going to take the fastest firing tier 10 tank in this game, and we are going to boost it to the max. We are going to boost it to the absolute max using equipment 2.0, using improved equipment units, uh, which were improved even more, so basically we are going to see the reload time, what we have never seen before on a tier 10 vehicle. We are simply going to touch some very, very dangerous territories over here. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. It is time to buckle up and this ride is going to be quite a scary one, quite a crazy one, because the fastest reload on any tier 10 vehicle goes to K91. As you can see over here, I have listed the top 10 or top 12 actually, we have K91, we have uh, some vehicles which are just rental versions of uh, the same tanks. So basically K91, we have 907, 140, SDRV in this list as well, STV1, AMX 30B and all those vehicles like T100 LT actually made it into the list as well. But K91, nothing beats K91. 6.30 seconds stock reload time. Now that reload time is already awesome, but the alpha damage is not the craziest one, so 320, this is kind of a balancing feature, balancing factor about that, I guess. But how much we are able to make it even better? Well, for that, let's head into the game and let me show you. Let me show you what we can pump out from K91. We have Brothers in Arms. Brothers in Arms can boost our reload speed and our loader's special adrenaline rush skill. This one can boost our reload speed as well. Accelerates gun loading if the vehicle has less than 10% of its hit points left. More about that in a second. So this was the second thing, but for that we have to lose some HP, but theoretically it is still over there. Then, of course, we have to use improved or innovative loading system, because you guys wanted to see the maximum, the fastest possible tier 10 uh, rate of fire. Uh, then um, improved ventilation system, of course. Then food, we have to use that. And then orderly Amorek directive. It is going to give you the best reload speed better than the ventilation. Yes, I have tested it. So you don't have to say that. It is quite obvious. So orderly Amorek. Using all those things, we can get our reload time down to 4.59 seconds, ladies and gentlemen, on a tier 10 vehicle. And if we have under 195 hit points left, our reload time is going to be 4.1 seconds. Look at this thing over here. 4188 damage per minute and you can see that everything possible is boosting our reload speed the only things uh, that can do that are just different uh, uh, levels of equipment units or the ventilation directive but you are not able to add more stuff than we have over here and uh, because this vehicle is uh, more like a tank destroyer it really is this is one of the medium tanks which is playing more like a mobile versatile tank destroyer because it is so different compared to the 140 to the 432 to the t62 ace play style it is more like a sniper support medium tank yeah i believe support medium tank is the best way to describe it of course you can be aggressive in it as well but then you have to know when to push in and uh, when to do like different type of aggressive moves but it um, more it plays more like a tank destroyer uh, in the first uh, part of the battles at least because you do not have too much armor to rely on basically anything what is able to see you is able to penetrate you and um, your not fully rotate, uh, rotatable turret might get you into some very, very cheesy and tricky situations. So, I'm not boosting view range. I'm not going to do that. Uh, my view range, I was still able to get it over 445 meters. This is just super awesome, godlike, right? I decided to boost my accuracy even more and look at the gun handling stats. Minus 9 degrees of gun depression on the sides. 1.47 second aiming time. 1.47 second aiming time. 0 0.27 accuracy. 4200 dpm. <laughs> That's actually crazy because I'm using this thing over here which is boosting my accuracy even more. This is... Oof. We are mobile. We have view range. 
We have basically everything over here and we have a bullseye mark for the enemy vehicles as well. There was actually a situation where artillery did hit me directly into the middle of the... Uh, turning one of the streams directly into the middle of the... this thing. A bullseye. That was funny. I got quite a nice laugh out of it. Anyway, this is how our K91 is looking like at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. And um, we are, I believe, we are going to play uh, carefully at the start of the battle, just uh, looking for our positions, looking for our moments. Let's try to do some sniping. Uh, let's try to use this uh, actually very amazing gun. What is also super awesome about this vehicle is standard round, APCR round, 320 damage. Damage is, yeah, average, under average, maybe. But 276 millimeters of penetration. And this tank has the fastest shell velocity in this game. It is an actual laser gun. 1,700 meters per second shell velocity with APCR. Heat gives you basically half of it. You lose almost 50%, 40 to 45% shell velocity. So heat, I rarely fire heat. Maybe sometimes I'm in closer range and sometimes when I'm not able to penetrate some hull down vehicles, maybe thin, but the main type of ammunition for me is definitely going to be the APCR round. You can, um, I would say from medium, like up to medium, maybe even medium, plus a bit over medium range, you are able to auto-aim and hit every single shot into moving targets as well, if they're not like going EBR speed. Auto-aim and just hit the targets. Maybe I should actually make an episode about auto-aim, only auto-aiming with uh, uh, this K91. Would you like to see something like that? Like only right-click and holding down the left-click uh, button. Only doing that, because it might have enough penetration, and especially on moving targets, it might be quite a fun thing to watch, right? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, K91, now you saw some gameplay action on the background, now let's play um, one or two live battles as well, and let's see how this vehicle can perform. Okay, now I would say this map is not the best map for K91, but if this is what we get, then... Well, what can we do, right? What can we do? Uh, there is Bonzer, there is the... TVP as well, TVP D5051, uh, who actually got me spotted. Okay, very awkward, very awkward start for the battle, if I'm completely honest with you. Oh, is this guy tracked? Is this TVP tracked? Uh, yeah, he was tracked. He was definitely tracked. We don't have anyone else over there. Let's just quickly destroy that. You can see this laser is accuracy. You can literally see this laser accuracy. And it is so very scary. So very scary. Okay. SDI is the only tank going into the city, which is very, very some. Uh, but this is also an, an encounter battle. So mm, stuff like this might ha happen. There is D54E1. D54E1. And dead. Okay. Hmm. hmm, what the hell is shooting HE? Okay, let's try to help out the D50. You can see this reload speed. You can see this reload speed. Firing faster, then you can auto reload, buddy. Okay. I'm trapped over here. Am I? Or are they trapped with me, ladies and gentlemen? Am I trapped here, or are they trapped with me? Okay. It's it's it's. Slowly starting to be quite an unfair fight over here, if I'm completely honest with you. It's like 1 versus 24. What is this guy doing? What was that guy doing, actually? Oh, I need some more help. Patton, please. 
No way, how you didn't get dragged out there in the open? Oh my god. Uh, okay, uh, this is... Um, I don't know, very weird that uh, he didn't get dragged out in the open, but it was only a matter of time anyway. And he, on the move, penetrated me. I was behind the cover on the move, penetrated my ammo rack as well. Uh, yeah, still, you were able to see we were bumping out 3700 damage, 4k combined, in basically under 3 minutes. In basically under 3 minutes, being in 1 versus, I do not even know what that was. Anyway, let's jump into the next battle. Very weird battle. We are definitely going to lose that because we have no tier 10s alive. We are definitely going to lose that. Okay, now this might be a sniping map, ladies and gentlemen, and we are very, very aggressive over here, actually. Wow, okay. I'm going to join with you guys. I am going to join with you. Let's say, boom. Help. Actually, I wanted to do... I help you, but never mind. Let's go. Um, how aggressive are we going to be over here? There is 140. Is uh, Action X also going to move in? You know what? You know what, let's go. Let's go. Wow, okay. My dream is to keep my my firing key all the time, like holding the fire button down, and 140 was able to get away. At least we have this place for us now. At least we do have this place for us now. And Artie fired as well. I don't know if Artie is going to fire again at us or not. It does not matter. 277s. Wow, it is very, very extremely heavy fight going on over here. 140 is already dead. 140 is already dead. Okay, 277 now has the upper hand. Oh, hello. No, that's a very stupid thing to, uh, by you. Holding down the mouse key once again. The dream, the dream, the dream, ladies and gentlemen. The dream, the absolute dream. Next, please. Okay, that was bad. That was my mistake. Oh my god. Are you really hiding behind me? I need to hide behind you. I need to hide behind you. What is going on in this battle? Actually. What the hell is going on in this battle? Wow. Did we just survive it? <laughs> we did. We did. Okay. Never say we survived it when there is artillery in the game. Uh, where to hide? Where to hide? Where to hide? Baton, please. Can you get the hell out of here? Please stop proxing me. Okay, Baton is dead. I don't know why he even tried to go away. But Baton is dead. Now, they are gapping because this is actually an encounter battle. So they are capping the base, EBR is doing some spot to spot as well, there is STB1 somewhere. Uh, STB1 most likely pulled back as well already. This would be the smart thing to do after they lost this flank, right? Actually, you know what? That would not be the smart thing to do right now. Oh boy, hello sniping. Okay, I actually need to lose a bit more of my hit points. To bring, to unleash the ultimate reload time beast. 4.1 second reload time beast. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep pushing forward. Let's keep pushing in. Yep, there is FE. I have four, sorry, three H rounds for that FE as well. Uh, our 277 is quite aggressive and I can even say overly aggressive. I would say overly aggressive. Going in like that and... Not able to do any. Wow. Dude, you just killed yourself. <gasps> no, we killed each other. Wow. Can you believe the reload time difference? We killed each other. And I just said you were over, over, overly aggressive. I don't know. Maybe I was overly aggressive as well. Wow, I definitely had to be overly aggressive. And we definitely have to uh, play one more. I want to survive. I want to survive. At least we did more damage. Progress is progress, ladies and gentlemen. And we are back on Ensk. Let's try to do that again because the different game mode this time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how it goes. This one, hopefully, is going to be a juicy one. And here is Scorpion G. Hello, Scorpion. 
And hello to you again. Yes, you should fix your tracks if you have them. I don't know what that guy is doing. Did he just actually give up? Okay. At least we can hit an in hit into the center mass now. Thank you. I got the assistance for destroying the house. But uh, accuracy, ladies and gentlemen, this actually proves it that accuracy is just a number. Now, there is M60. Oh boy, this M60 is as good as Danzo, hopefully. Hopefully. Although that M60 also has a very good uh, rate of fire. Very good TPM and all that. You know, juicy stuff. And boom. Like, as long as we are able to keep this gun busy, I'm very happy. Nice. Stunned. T54 and M60. Okay, they're all aiming at me. M60 is also over there. I just wasn't uh, even able to spot uh, that guy with my... Uh, with my... Uh, no, 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 fall back, fall back, fall back. Where is fall back? Retreat. I want to help you. I will help you. Good job. There is M60 again. That was supposed to be tracks. Okay, that is tracks. Oh! <gasps> Come on, go, go! Nice, tracked again. Very nice. Oh my god, this DPM is just... We were able to kill M60. And come back to D95. And this guy was still dragged. This is how good this uh, DPM is. Oh, Tiger 1 is uh, on our side. <sighs> Look at this. We're actually out aiming. Not even looking. Not even looking. Barbecue, your gun handling is garbage. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, we actually need to lose a bit more HP. Just to show that 4.1 second reload time again. We actually should lose some more hit points. But you know. You don't want to play around with that. One HP, two, five, seven. One hit point tank. Come on. Hello? Four for you. Oh, four for you just took the shot. And I was not fast enough. I was not fast enough. Uh, where are they going? What are they doing? What is going on in this battle? So there goes that guy. I believe this battle... Two battles on ends. Showcase what? Showcase exactly what this tank can already do. Even though it really doesn't excel in uh, or on the city maps. Okay, let's see. Nice. Look at this. 4.1 second reload time. Nice. We were able to showcase that as well, ladies and gentlemen. K91. The fastest reloading tier 10 tank in this game. Two battles on Ensk live. And uh, yeah, quite massacres. Quite a massacre battles. 4,900, like 5,000 damage. How fast? Four minutes. Two very fast battles on Ensk as well. Matchmaking like... Tier 8 in, in this matchmaking as well, but yeah, this is K91, ladies and gentlemen. K91 with the fastest possible reloading setup. Let me know what you think about this episode. Let me know what you would like to see me doing next time in the comments down below. All of this is free, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoy our stuff over here, consider hitting that subscribe button. Let's try to hit 300 thousand subscribers we are still celebrating 200,000 subscribers but let's try to hit 300,000 as well why the hell not right guys why we shouldn't try to do that anyway you have been awesome thank you so much 
for spending your time over here with me today. I get you next time with something else. Stay awesome. As always, stay sexy. Take care and bye.